Alright, welcome back to another Pro Cooking, the show where I cook things, I have no idea what I'm doing, and it up, turned out pretty good most of the time. So, today we're going to be making some deer meat recipe. I'm not sure exactly what yet. Let me just go through what I got at the store for all the different possibilities of my feet since I have a bag of onions, I have a bag of potatoes, and a bag of carrots. I got uh, some bacon. I have some biscuits. I have some vinegar because my mom said once you thaw out the the venison, which is the meat, like uh, this here. This is actually a heart. I'll make later on. I'm supposed to put it in this uh, water and vinegar mixture overnight, which I have done. So I left that in the fridge overnight. It's pretty thought out. A little bit hard right in there. I'm not sure if I'm going to be use all of this. I don't know what's brown around the edges. If the vinegar has like already started the cooking process, a little bit. Oh, so uh, I think this is a a ham. Come off the back leg of a doe. I'm not sure. But I'm going to chop some of this up. I'm going to boil it in this water just to get it started, and then we're going to maybe fry it or something and then add it to some some fixings. Okay. So instead of making the stew, I don't think I'm gonna make the stew just yet. I've got these uh, simple suppers. Just add meat it says fixings. This is Creole fixings. I think I'm gonna try this. I also have a jambalaya just kind of like a dirty rice with some uh, some vegetables and stuff. This one has a picture of like some sausage and some shrimp on it, and this one looks more like a hot dog or sausage or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking this Creole with the venison is going to be really good. So I'm going to fry it up the meat. I'm going to boil it. I'm going to fry up some pieces. I'm going to just add it in to this stuff and then let it simmer. And then you got this French bread to eat with it. I also have some uh, country gravy mix with the biscuits. I'm gonna have like some. When I get the tenderloin, I'm not sure which one of these bags has the tenderloin in it. But I'm gonna make that with some biscuits, some gravy. I got some stovetop cornbread stuffing and some cranberry stuffing. We have kind of a Thanksgiving sort of themed venison meal. And then I uh, got some lasagna cheesy skillets, but I think you're supposed to use beef for that. So we got the stew, we got two pounds of fixins, we got gravy and biscuits, and we got two types of stovetop. And then we got like some, some yams and some like asparagus I'm gonna add in there for sides. I think it's gonna turn out pretty good. And then at some point, probably tomorrow, because mm, I don't really have any buns, so I think I'm gonna use this fresh bread before it gets too old. I'm gonna thaw out this heart. I'm gonna make a heart attack, a deer heart attack burger with that bread and then wrap some bacon around it. So it's kind of like a heart that has bacon wrapped around it because you think bacon cheeseburgers give people heart attacks so I think it's going to be a nice theme because I like to do themes. So we got these small pieces. We're not professional bushers. We just kind of cut meat off of deer. I'll cut a long ways through this. Yeah. some little fillets we can cut this way it means it's kind of falling apart which I suppose is a good thing mom says the vinegar will take the wild taste out of it whatever that means got the whole kind of point of venison deer meat game animals is that it tasted like something different but I don't know now my brother his idea was to make beef jerky or well, deer jerky and then when we go hunting next year, we'll have deer jerky when we're hunting. So that is our meat boiling. Actually, it's not boiling. Why is the water not boiling yet? Let's throw some salt in there. Supposedly it makes water boil faster. I don't know. Probably doesn't. Okay. It looks like the fat 
is boiled to the surface or something. I don't know. So, to place this, this, a little bit of a uh, natural blend of canola, sunflower, and soybean oils in there. Doop, 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 doop. that in there like so. I'm just gonna do like a quick fry this meat. Make sure it's cooked all the way through. I'm gonna replace the water in this with my Creole fixings and add the meat back in. Bada bing. I think that's all of it. My new garbage disposal. Oh shit. Not really a lot of meat. It did cook down, didn't it? <laughs> Thought it was gonna have way more than that. Experimental purposes, so I know for next time. Slice off a little ham fillet. See how this turns out without boiling it first. Straight up fry strip of it. Look at that. That looks fucking nice. It's cooking up pretty easy. That was gonna be hard. Just to add meat. Probably should have got some kind of sausage spices. Like what do they even put in sausage? Do I have anything like that? I got lemon and pepper. Taco seasoning, Chicago steak seasoning, garlic, salt. There's some season all. I think this is not actually season all. I think I replaced it. No, it's season all. Got some salt and pepper mixed up in there somewhere that I take a camp. Taco seasoning all on the floor. This is how you do pro it cooking. I don't know why they don't show these huge messes on TV. Surely, people make huge messes when they cook. It's just a fact of life. It happens. Do they think people not want to see that? Of course they do. Man, this is smelling amazing now that I added this seasoning in. I'll just put those over to the side. And now, pop my fixings. And now, that was way too many fixings. Jeez. I think I'm going to have to chop this meat up. Yeah, let's do that. Start chopping this meat up. Oh, it just comes right apart. Okay. should probably use a fork for this and not a spoon. Some little shrimps I could throw in there. That'll be perfect. We have some black olives. I don't really think the hell work is good. Eh, yeah, fuck it. These things are getting old. There we go. Yeah. Delightful. That little color. Mmm. Just all about presentation. Some tomatoes, some olives, some peppers, some dirty rice, some spices. The spices. Now we just bake this at 45,000 degrees for about 60 hours, and then uh, through the magic of television, 
sure it'll all be done. Actually, it is simmering very well. So I'll take this French bread. butter on that shit. Yeah. Get that in there, butter. I know you want to. Just on the top. Pop this in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Mmm. This was a how-to basic video, I'll just throw an egg in there, just for the hell of it. Pull in the shell. You know what that sound means? Mmm, delicious. French bread. With some Creole venison jambalaya. That's what it's all about, folks. Mm. Let's try a bit of this. Magnifique. And it's delicious. Deer meat, Creole jambalaya. The end.